Lucha, Uga Nessa Mihas, Skin Rising and Great Awakenings. Welcome to day 10 of 21 days of self-care, global prayer, healing, post-traumatic slave syndrome with sound. Thank you for being here for these sessions. Um, it's been helping me to do this work every day and then also to share it with you. The Sankofa step for today is look in the mirror. Growth and change are continuous. Self-assessment. None of us have arrived. We have just agreed to take the trip. And I have a little bit of a commentary on that. Um, oh, and then the other, the um, protocol step 10 is to use the solar fork and dealing with um, ending alcohol, alcoholism, drug abuse, and letting go of addiction, which basically means attachments. So the reflection that came through um, after going through the self-care process to, uh, today for day 10 was to stop comparing self to others, especially to others that have accepted the standards, principles, and values of oppression or of our oppressor. Uh, human beings, I feel, not in nature, live according to Ma'at. But at some point when we're forced to follow a system that is opposed to Ma'at, and then we're comparing ourselves to those standards, that's what causes a split within us. Because it's, we're comparing ourselves to something that is on Ma'at, comparing ourselves to something that is attached to commercialism, vanity, greed, injustice, uh, no compassion, things like that. So that, that's the first thing I would suggest. When you look in the mirror and assessing yourself, assessing your life, what values are you following and why? Uh, the, this life of standards, of our, of our oppression, of our oppressors, of the colonial colon, colonizers, the missionaries, the slave owners, we're following those values. And that's what's weighing us down. That's what's holding us back in our mind. Our minds are shackled to, oh, but my hair is not straight. Oh, but my hair is not blonde. Oh, I don't have a mansion, uh, you know, that's from my family's generations from four or 500 years ago. Or uh, African-Americans in America, um, we don't have um, the connection to Africa that we would have. Or and Native Americans, they don't, it, we, they don't have connection to their homeland. They've been removed. But we're comparing ourselves to um, the one percenters who stole these things or took these things. And now they have them. And so we're comparing ourselves to them. We're literally comparing ourselves to thieves and pirates and crooks. So uh, that's what I would have to say about looking in the mirror. is whose values are you following and why? Whose standards are you striving to maintain, maintain and why? And then to realize that it's, it's an addiction in a way. We're addicted to this life that is not meant for us. We're addicted to um, ways and things that are opposed to natural life. And that is something that we need to break free from, including myself. Okay, so now let's get on to the self-care summary. And I could talk at length about this. And if you want to continue the discussion, just, you know, inbox me. All right, so for the self-care summary and the global prayer, I choose, I use the chart for May 19th. And since we're dealing with solar fork, you can see the sun is in Sagittarius Taurus. And there's several planets in Taurus. And um, since we're talking about addiction, alcoholism, looking in the mirror, I'm focusing on the tones for Ra, Jehuti, and Heteru based on the myth of um, when Heteru forgot her divinity. She was actually uh, given a beverage of beer and some other um, substances to um, to help bring her out of it, of her um, forgetfulness, to 
put her in a state where she would be more readily able to accept, to accept the teachings of Jyoti because she was so fired up that she wasn't able to um, hear. So they fed her this beverage and she was able to chill out a little. All right, so we're gonna do the solar fork, the Heteru fork, the Venus fork, and the Jehuti or the Mercury fork. And the meridians we're going to do are the heart and the governing vessel. The gift of dissociation. Acupuncturists appreciate the cheese gift of dissociation. It stops energy from coming through when there is a risk of burning our minds to the ground. And that reminds me of, you know, constantly trying to um, make, meet someone else's standards or values. And the extraordinary vessels I chose are the Yin Wei and the Yang Wei. And the Yin Wei, again, is the one for heart protector, the inner gate helping to unwrap the heart chakras, the Grinch who stole Christmas, you know, his heart is, is so hardened and tiny. And then when someone expressed love to him, it expanded and opened. So that's how um, descendants of, of slavery days are from all the pain. We're just like, you know, some of us anyway, we're just uh, locked up so that we've forgotten our, forgotten our divinity. I remember when I was asking my grandmother about this, she said, we're not from Africa, we're not Native Americans, we slaves, we was just slaves, that's all we is. And my grandfather said, don't listen to her. Her father was from Africa, he came over here to fight slavery in the Civil War, and her mother was a Native American, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, whoa! A uh, trauma that is left unresolved, and the heart gets less and less space to express itself. Old heart chakra issues allows us to accept what we observe. I mean, that is a really hard one. And I guess when you look in the mirror, you've got to accept what you see. You accept how how far removed your life is from Ma'at or from what's truly in your heart. To accept unconditional love, anxiety, insomnia, nightmares, helps to open up when one is shut down. Survival mechanisms for abuse. And then the Yang Wei opening point is called the outer gate. So the Yin Wei is the inner gate and the Yang Wei is the outer gate. The Xiao Yang pattern, autoimmune disorders, pathogens stuck in the body. When something has ended, but there's still a residual there, like slavery ended, what, 500? 400 years ago, I think it's closer to 500, and yet we're still dealing with the ramifications. Uh, some of it remained in the body, the Xiao Yang Hotel. There it lies dormant, gaining strength and waits for opportunity to strike. Shows up when the host becomes weak. Okay. All right, so like I said before, I used the um, Venus Forks. And I use them together even though one is big and one is small because um, Venus is in the sign of Taurus. And then I used the solar, the solar fork and Venus and the Mercury fork and Venus. Do a little bit more here. And then I used the um, high frequency forks on the um, meridians and the extraordinary vessels, points that I read about and showed the charts. So that is the self-care summary.